Hello everybody, welcome to the Gyrocopter Flying Club. This film is all about emergency landings. Regular viewers will know that these films are a collection of other pilots films set to my own commentary that provide the context for the relevant training point. In this film, much of the footage is from our glider pilot friends. The reason of course being that whilst powered pilots spend a lot of energy overthinking off-field landings for cross-country glider pilots, landing out is quite normal. We will not look at field selection however because the link in this video provides the best field selection film available and I encourage you to make the time needed to become familiar with its contents because one day that information might be needed. What this film hopes to highlight are the handling qualities of the gyroplane that combined with good airmanship should provide you with the best opportunity to execute a good emergency landing along with some gotchas. The common historical reason for gyroplane emergency landings was engine failure, especially with highly stressed or poorly maintained and set up two-stroke engines. Happily for the modern gyroplane pilot, aircraft are powered by the very reliable Rotax 9 series engine and subject to strict maintenance regimes, the need to perform real emergency landings has become unlikely. This however can lead to complacency and hopefully the film will reinforce the technique required and the need to stay in practice so that if you're faced with a real emergency you're better able to deal with the situation. Of course one of the great advantages in flying a gyroplane is that you have a very good aircraft for short field landings because it's highly manoeuvrable, has the ability to descend vertically which means positioning for your selected landing area quite simple and by using rotor drag your landing roll is minimal. In this demonstration the pilot pulls power to idle to simulate engine failure. He has pre-selected his landing spot which of course is very similar to any good en route process. Having recognised he's very close to his desired landing area, a vertical descent is performed. This ensures that once the chosen area has been selected, it is always kept in sight and an accurate approach is ensured. Once position has been adjusted, airspeed is recovered by easing the nose forward or relaxing back stick and a normal glide approach is made, a round out performed, and the nose high attitude at touchdown ensures that rotor drag keeps landing roll to a minimum. Of course engine failures and other emergencies don't always happen at a convenient 2,000 feet over open countryside. One of the most challenging areas for problems to occur is at takeoff. Where takeoff performance is not an issue, under 300 feet keep airspeed at around 10 miles an hour higher than best climb speed as it allows additional margins to the best glide speed should you have a problem on takeoff. Of course all of these numbers you'll find in your pilot operating handbook. Having a pre-takeoff plan and a good understanding of the local environment is essential in case of engine failures on takeoff. This pilot initially had options that rapidly faded and ultimately airspeed was decaying which compromised range and allowed a higher rate of sink. Had his pre-takeoff plan been to make early left turns then he perhaps had fields available and even the road rather than the sea or this rocky shoreline. However, never turn back. Here is the consequence of turning with low airspeed at low level. Of course a gyroplane will not stall and spin in, but it will still sink severely. One other gotcha includes landing into tall crops. Wheat fields, for example, may look inviting from height, but will easily drag the aircraft over, especially if you carry significant speed into the field. If you must land in such crops, try and land on top of the crop and sink into it. You'll no doubt be familiar with aviate, navigate and communicate. Flying the aircraft first is always the most sensible solution to any emergency. However, emergency landings in remote regions may mean that help and assistance will never come and you can't always rely on a mobile phone signal. Finally, this last clip shows that self-preservation meant the landing was essential. However, you can see how dangerous it is for people on the ground. It is. Oh, you had to move out at west, eh? Look at this one here! Woo! Hey, hey! Watch out! Oh, 
Watch out! What a driver! <laughs>